Hello, and welcome to part two of my uh, holy shit let's talk about something else but Brutal Doom while talking about modding Doom series thing. Yes, this is realism with two E's as in slot reels, as in this is very silly. <sighs> A little thirsty there, sorry. So realism is kind of reminiscent of something like a slaughter map for Doom. Only it's, well, let's just try it and see. It's a bit difficult to explain. Uh, you have various maps that are quite large. They're meant to be fairly open. I like a lot of these. Let's start with municipal transport. In this place, well, you're going to have to get used to where the spawns are. So here's what's going to happen. You're going to start and it's going to run those slots in the corner. It's gonna give you something, right now I'm immune to fire, it's gonna tell you what sort of weapon sets are going to be spawned and what kinds of enemies are going to be spawned. And it's going to last for 60 seconds with those settings that are rolled up for you. Then, after those 60 seconds are up, yeah, it's going to re-roll the slots and you're gonna start all over. This is going to continue for five rounds, and the last round is actually going to be a boss battle where you've got to collect, you know, just gather up whatever you've collected thus far in the match and battle one of various bosses. There are all kinds of them. I've fought uh, some sort of weird giant thing. Uh, I can't even explain what it was. I've fought uh, player two. It was Doom Guy, basically, with all kinds of weapons and things. He was just sort of picking up what was around. And as you can see, the levels are actually. Although open, fairly complex, and often quite large. Uh, you know, in classic Doom style, somewhat labyrinthine, even though they're open. And the kinds of weapons and enemies you're going to be finding are going to range from weapons from, say, like this, which would be weapons from Raven Games, to things from uh, Wolfenstein. Yeah! <laughs> to things from uh, Duke 3D, things from Doom, uh, things from Heretic, Hexen, all sorts of stuff. It's actually fantastic. Oh yes, and it is pure visceral killing action, really. There's even some, uh, some sound effects in here from like the Source engine and stuff I recognize, which is kind of funny. But yeah, so the mod itself is quite large at this point. It's got, as you saw, several maps. And it's got a ton of enemies. Eh. Enemy types, as well as different variables you'll be, uh, kind of coming in contact with. And a huge number of weapon sets from all kinds of things. And it presents an interesting challenge. Sometimes it can be very easy. You can be nearly invincible because of the stuff you've got. And sometimes it can be just unfairly difficult. And really, it's luck of the draw, as you would expect. It's slots, so of course it's going to be very luck of the draw. Uh-oh, and right now, my luck appears to be running out. Is this for Shadow Warrior? Oh, jeez. And uh, as you can can very clearly see we're talking about some huge numbers of just stuff on the screen. Lots of enemies, I'm sliding around right now because of this modifier. Lots of modifiers, lots of enemies, if I didn't mention that already. And overall, ugh, some pretty, oh god, some pretty satisfying uh, slaughter fest sort of map action and right now they've given me some revolutionary touchscreen gaming, which is very nice of them. I'm uh, glad, question mark. We're gonna slaughter our way through this. Eh, have a barrel. At least I'm not sliding around everywhere like crazy. So yeah, that's what realism is. It is really fast paced all the way through. It is in fact a silly amount of fun. And I recommend this to anyone that really likes to play those uh, slaughter mods for Doom because it adds an interesting dynamic to what is a pretty classic overall way to actually play the whole slaughter mod style. You know, the 
the maps with just huge numbers of monsters, pretty wide open, lots of weapon spawns and stuff. This is that, only, uh, well, okay. Only turned up to a very interesting 11. Where's my, there we are. Imp my ride indeed. Oh yes. A bit of the old ultraviolence never hurt anyone, except for all of the imps. Also, the enemies are exploding right now when I kill them, which is not really that kind, gotta say. Aiming a bit high today, it seems. Oh, okay. Ow. I need some health. I need some health. There we go. Uh, what's that? Uh, plasma rifle, yep. Yep, 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 yep. There are all kinds of fun modifiers to actually find, though. I've been in a tank, I've been a dog, like, you know, dog mode from Shadow Warrior. I've been uh, flying. Flying is always fun. I mean, there's not really a downside to flying. There's just, oh, I died. There's a lot of fun to be had in this one. We're gonna do one more. I had to have killed at least 300 things there. And it's got quite a good sense of humor, as you can see in the post-game stats. 961! Holy crap. I did at least transcend my mortal bonds, which is very nice. Also, I traded for ivory, which is highly illegal. So we're gonna do one more. Let's do it in... JRPGville? Oh, God. What's this gonna be? What? This is fantastic. Uh, okay. What are we gonna get? All right, so we're gonna get some shotgun type weapons, NPCs from Strife as the enemies, and I can move very, very quickly, double the normal speed, in fact. Ooh, the jackhammer. One of my favorites. Nope, I said jackhammer. Jack, hammer, boom. So this, my friends, is realism. It's a hell of a lot of fun if you're kind of wanting to go to one of those slaughter map style mods and just have a romp. It's got a lot of variety in the enemies you'll be facing, it's got a lot of variety in the different modifiers that can come into play, and a huge amount of variety in the weapons, as well as a good number of maps that are each very unique and offer their own challenges. In fact, one of them is a dick. One of them is a bridge. That actually reminds me of the Counter-Strike uh, map uh, from a long time ago. It's a bridge that has cars, and the cars will go very quickly, and they will kill you. It's unpleasant. Holy crap, I'm in a tank. Alright, this is not the best map to be in a tank. Oh, wait, I can also fly, it appears. So, I'm a flying tank, it seems. Basically, I'm invincible for 60 seconds, because I am a flying tank. Yeah. This is a very strange map, I've got to say. Okay. Each one in, like, Doom slaughter map style actually has a fair amount of geometry to learn with where the weapon spawns are going to be. And that's actually pretty important because of the, the way the weapon spawning system works in this, with the reels determining your fate at any given point. Ugh. This is not a good map to use the tank on. Not at all. Very confined. Uh-oh. Alright. Slots are spinning. What's it gonna be this time? Alright, Wolf 3D weapons and, uh... The harmless brony monsters. Yeah. I'm not even gonna comment on how satisfying it is to slay a bunch of bronies. Um, that would probably get me yelled at. But it is really fun to slay a bunch of bronies. Just, just saying. I mean, you know, it's not a big deal. But it's really fun to slay a bunch of bronies. Cough. Also, pogo stick. Eh. Whee! So yeah, if you want the uber fast paced kind of uh, strangely cathartic slaughter map style experience, but are maybe a bit sick of some of the ones you've tried, or just looking for something a bit different in that uh, sort of subgenre of Doom mapping, realism is where it's at. So I'm gonna put this in the description, the link to where you can actually get this. 
And, uh, uh oh. Yeah. And, uh, by the way, if you haven't seen the first supplement to this series, I'm running this on a source port, a modern source port called GZ Doom. And uh, if you don't know how to get that, just Google it, or you can go back to the first video in this series. And uh, the eh, the link in the description will get you the source port. It's very easy to use. You just drag the wad onto the source port, tell it to run Doom 2 if you haven't set it to that already, and that really is that. You're doing it. So, highly recommended. Realism is way too much fun if you're looking for just this. There's really no other word for it. And uh, I hope you like it. And again, I'd like to say that after this three round supplement is over, I might be doing a few more on some other things. And if there are other, get rid of these. There are other uh, things that people have an idea about, other things that people want to see, things like that, these sorts of crazy doom mods I will gladly very gladly take a look so yeah let's see if we can make it to the boss really quick let's save some of this uh, yeah oh so many useless bronies everywhere that's what the game calls them their words not mine Alright, just about made it to the boss. Got a bunch of grenades for it. I could use some more health and armor. There we go. And a pogo stick. Just get myself out of here with it. Boom. Alright. Here we go. It's boss time. The imp tank? I don't like the sound of that. Alright, let's see what the imp tank looks like. Everyone, the final level. And there will be infighting, of course, which is good. That's uh, always a plus, I feel, in, uh -oh. in large mods. Slaughter type maps and things. Where is my imp tanky friend? I can go into the inn. Oh, that's adorable. I'm in the inn. I, I assume that's what this is. It is JRPG. Whoa! Okay, then. Oh, even the music is JR- Oh, this is great. Yeah, the map has a ton of polish. When it comes to the type of experience it wants to deliver to you, it- It knows what it wants to deliver to you. Alright. So where the heck is this thing? I'm not seeing it anywhere. Maybe it's in that big outdoor area that I saw earlier at the edge of town, we'll call it. Eh. The bosses in this are actually pretty impressive. They can be quite difficult, and uh, they're uh, well worth the uh, build-up to actually get to, I feel, because they're pretty fun. Figure, maybe it'll be out here. Holy crap. There's a ton of death out here, that's for sure. Lots of enemies. Alright, where are you, imp tank? Hello? Oh my. This is cool looking. I like this. It's odd that I can't seem to find the imp tank. Hello, imp tank. Where are you? Ah! Uh, um... Where is it? Whoa. As you can see, these levels often go for quite a ways and have a lot to them. It's... odd to see, actually. Okay, I think I found it. It is an imp driving an oddly rendered tank. I why am I surprised by this? All right, let's just unload on it. Probably don't want to get too close. Although I will give it. Never mind. 
It killed me. <laughs> there you go, folks. Realism. Aptly named, I feel. Hope you enjoy it. The imp tank is, um... Kind of a jerk. Also, I pursued Lubu, which is good. 962 kills. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty nuts. And there are other modes as well. Boss practice, huh? Just give me a random boss. Uh oh, it's the imp tank again. Why? Okay. Yes, super shotgun versus imp tank. This should be totally fine. I'm from Wolfenstein! Hear me roar! Ah! That is just a beautifully sprited tank, by the way. Okay, I'm not gonna punch- uh, uh, Yes, I am. I'm gonna punch the tank. Punch the- Tank. Uh. I think it killed me. I'm just gonna go out there. The Clockwork Solarium, yes. This thing is chock full of references, by the way. 38 seconds. I fought the lol. And I remembered the Alamo. Encumbered by guilt. Well, thanks for watching, guys, and part three will be coming shortly.